All right, welcome. So we're going to walk through uh, chapter 20. It's going to be number nine. It's assignment number nine. And we're going to walk through this just to hopefully help you get these uh, problems solved. Okay, so, um, so what we're going to do here is we are... Uh, the, the problem number nine question is down here, right? So the very first one, there's three of them, three numbers that you're looking for. And so the first one is we need to figure out the transferred out amount uh, of work in process that goes into stitching. So where does it come from? Well, it's going to come from up here. It's going to go from cutting to stitching, right, is where it's going to go. So, so we actually need the cutting numbers, the cutting department numbers to be able to figure this out. So what we do is uh, the pattern goes like this. Uh, the pattern is that we start with the, um, we start with the beginning inventory right here for cutting, okay? We add in three things, so Three things go into this. One is going to be the direct materials that go in, right there. And your numbers may be different than this example, but it's going to be close. It'll be close to the same format. It's going to be direct labor goes in right there, that top one right there. And then we need to calculate the overhead applied that goes in. So we use our predetermined overhead rate for overhead applied. So it's 150% of direct materials used. So we're gonna go back up to this number. And we're gonna take 150% of 23,000. And then at the very end, we're going to subtract out the ending inventory. So I'll show you how this looks on a calculator. So we'll go through a calculator here. So we start with the uh, beginning inventory number, right? And then we're going to add in our uh, direct materials used, 23,000. And then we're going to add in our direct labor, 18,100. And then that'll give us 134,600. Okay, so 134,600. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to save that number. Right, and then I'm going to uh, calculate the overhead here real quick. And so it's going to be 150%, which is 1.5, right? That's 150% times my direct uh, materials used. So that's 23,000. Okay, so that's 150% of my direct materials used. So that's 34,500. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take that 34,500. I'm going to go back here and in here in the history. So there's my 134.6. I need to add that to my 34,500. So 134.6. Okay. So plus 134.6. Okay. So that's my number. So that's actually... Uh, my number that I'm going to, I'm going to have here, that's assuming, so that's how much I would have in the cutting department if I didn't actually transfer any on. So if there were none, if there were none that were transferred, then I would have this, uh, that would be my number, but some did transfer on and some stayed in, uh, cutting. So the way we split that up and say what transferred on and what stayed in cutting we know one of those numbers. So that's right uh, up here in the ending inventory. This is what stayed in the cutting. So whatever didn't stay in the cutting will transfer on. So we just need to subtract this amount from what we have. That'll tell us what transferred on because we're subtracting out what stayed, right? So we're going to go minus 85,500. And then that will give us what transferred on from cutting to stitching. So 83,600. 
Okay, so that that'll be our that'll be our answer there. And so we're gonna we're gonna hold on to that number. We gotta remember that number later. And so eighty three thousand six hundred. Of course, that'll be your answer right here in A. Uh, the next one we're gonna do the same pattern. So we start with beginning inventory. We add the stuff in that went in during the stitching, right? We're going from stitching into finished goods. And so we're going to add in what went into stitching. And then we're going to subtract what was the ending inventory in stitching so we can tell what went on then to finished goods. So let's, let's do that real quick. I'll walk you through that. Uh, let's see here. So again, we're starting with beginning inventory. One, one, three, 300. We're going to add in uh, direct materials. In this case, direct materials are going to be what we just ended up with. So that number we just calculated, the 83,600, that's what came in. It came in from cutting. So we're going to add in the 83,600. That's our materials that came in, right? So that transferred in from the cutting department. So that was added to. And then we're also going to add in the direct labor, 72,400. Okay, so that gives us that amount there. So 269,300, that's what would be in stitching if nothing went on to finished goods. But stuff did go on to finished goods and some stuff stayed in, uh, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's hear, let's add one more thing and then we'll do this little dance here to, to subtract out the ending finished goods or ending stitching, sorry. We've got one more number. So we're going to save this number here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do 120% of direct labor used right there. That's our overhead. That's the number I forgot. Sorry. Getting ahead of myself. So 120% is 1.2, right? And then we're going to multiply that by our direct labor. In our case, it's 72,400. So that is the number. And we're going to add that 86,880. We're going to uh, add on to that. We're going to add what we got at the very the last one. So 269,300. 269,300. So that's the correct one. And that is going to be now. That, okay, so that's our number. That's what I was talking about before. So that's everything added together. Um, that includes our ending inventory. So we got to take out the ending inventory. And then that will, what's remaining will be what transferred on to finished goods. So we're going to subtract out right here our ending inventory, which happens to be 76,000. And then that's what transferred from stitching right there is what remains or what doesn't remain. What remains is in stitching. Uh, everything else, which is this number that we have here, goes on to finish goods. And we're going to we're going to save that number for our next one. OK, so let's do the next one here. So that's going to be that one that we just calculated is going to be B. So C is cost of goods sold. So this one's similar, a similar pattern. It's just a little shorter. It gets a little simpler as we go. Uh, so what we're going to do, like we did before, we're going to start with finish, or uh, we're going to start with our beginning inventory in finished goods, right here. There it is. That's my beginning inventory. I'm going to add in what transferred in from stitching. So that's this number, two eighty one eighty. So the the last number you got is what transferred in. So it's gonna be uh, 280,180. So that's what transferred in. And so if I have what I started with, began with my beginning inventory, plus what came in from stitching as finished goods, that's my number. So if I didn't sell anything, then that's what I have. But I did sell some stuff and then I have ending inventory. So I'm looking at my ending inventory and sure enough, uh, this is what the ending inventory is. What's not an ending is, like every other one, 
went on to the next step, which in this case was sold. It went on to the customer. So that we're, and we're just dealing with cost here. So we've got to figure out our cost. And so we're going to subtract out the ending inventory, 18,250. And then this is the cost of what we sold. This is what we, this is the cost of goods sold with that. Not not our sales price, but that's cost of goods sold. So that's our third one down here. The very last one is cost of goods sold. So that's what went from finished goods on to the customer. All right. Hopefully this helps. Um, feel free to contact Mr. Bell if you have any questions.